In this video, we will be looking at the five out flow offense. That is no play calls, just players moving in unison. By watching this video, your team's fluidity and creativity will be taken to another level. These are the topics we will cover. Now let's get started. The golden rule of motion basketball the 0.5 second rule, which states that you must dribble, pass, or shoot within 0.5 seconds of catching the ball. You need to establish this rule if you want to have a successful 5-out motion offense. Listen to Steph Curry explain the 0.5 second rule. I'm either catching and shooting, I'm catching and ripping, or I'm catching and giving up. If you, you held the ball for one second, that's a grenade and it blew up and you're done. All right, so think about that. I need 0.5 seconds to make a decision. And that's when you start to get the dominoes to fall. All right? On the weak side, strong side, whatever it is. We're giving y'all some terminology. Remember 0.5 basketball. That's a good one to take back to y'all's team. Let's start with the basics. How to space and move. In the five out motion offense, we have five players spread out across the perimeter, forming a five out alignment hence the name. This spacing forces the defense to cover the entire court. In the five out motion flow, constant movement is the foundation. Players are always in motion, cutting, dribbling, and screening to keep the defense on their toes. Let's take a look at cutting and how it affects spacing. If the point guard passes the ball and cuts toward the rim, numbers three and five should then replace the spots while the point guard filters out to the corner. If two passes it to the corner, Two should cut toward the rim, and the other teammates should fill in the spots again. Take this play for example. Here is the ball, and here is a bunch of open space. This guy recognizes it and takes advantage of the opportunity. Players must also read and react during dribble drives to maintain spacing. Now let's add some defense. When one player drives toward the paint, the other four players must read the situation and adjust their positions accordingly. For example, if a player drives from the wing, the other players should relocate. The next topic is my personal favorite, movers and blockers. As all basketball coaches know, not all basketball players were created equally. And this is a big challenge when running a five up motion offense. A lot of times you will find the defense sagging in the paint against poor shooters, which causes spacing issues. So what do you do with bigs? when running five out motion. I present the answer, movers and blockers. Movers are usually guards, like Steph Curry, and blockers are typically centers or perimeter players who cannot shoot, like Draymond Green. Here are two simple roles for movers and blockers. Number one, blockers screen for movers. Movers can still screen for other movers, but movers do not screen for blockers. Blockers are the screeners. Rule number two, when blockers have the ball in the perimeter, they should immediately look for a dribble handoff or pass follow ball screen. Take this play for example. I want you to follow this player the entire time. He is the blocker on this play. Let's count how many screens he sets. four screens. Meanwhile, he took zero dribbles and touched the ball twice and scored. That is how a blocker should play. The Golden State Warriors are the best at using the mover blocker system. They run five out motion and have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson come off of screens from Draymond Green, not the other way around. The mover blocker system makes sense. You want your less skilled players like Draymond Green, who can't shoot, screening for your more skilled players like Steph Curry, who's the best shooter of all time. Simple. Next, we will talk about how to incorporate the ball screen in your five out motion offense. The ball screen is the most commonly run action in the world and is a seamless way to go from transition offense to your five out motion offense. Now reading a ball screen and having all five players on the court moving in unison is difficult. When a ball screen occurs, the offense may get a layup. Most of the time, the screener's defender will help either by dropping in the paint or hard hedging. If the defense the drops in the paint, that allows for an open mid-range jump shot to the guard. Digits. If the offense does not get an open mid-range shot, the player that just set the ball screen should pop and call for the ball. Once the blocker gets the ball, he should look for a dribble handoff and play the two-man game with the mover. Now let's talk about hard hedging. If the defense hard hedges the ball screen, the screener should slip to the rim where he could be open for a layup or can just play four on three. Lastly, if the defense goes under the ball screen, the correct read is to either shoot the ball or re-screen 
and go the other way. This does a great job at throwing the defense off guard and allows for the ball handler to get to the rim. Our next topic is the away screen, screen the screener. The away screen occurs when a player screens away for a teammate. It is very commonly run, but rarely read correctly. If the defender is trailing an away screen, the offensive player receiving the screen should curl toward the rim. The big should then pop, in this case, to ensure correct spacing. If the defender is denying or overplaying the away screen, the offensive player should back cut toward the rim and the player setting the screen should pop. Now here is where the screen the screener comes into play. If the player does not back cut or curl and instead cuts toward the three point line, which is pretty typical, the player who set the away screen should screen the same player for a ball screen. This is effective because it puts the same defender in multiple screening actions. If you want to learn more about reading away screens and off ball movement in general, click the link at the top right of the video right now. Our next action is called get. Get action is simple. When the guard passes the ball to a blocker on the perimeter, he gets the ball for a dribble handoff. This is effective because it allows the guard to play fast without having to dribble and after a ball handler passes the ball, typically his defender relaxes for a second because he thinks his job is done. Well the get action counters that. Our last topic is my favorite and it's called the under series. The under series is not very well known and will take your team's offense from good to great. The under series is run after any guard or mover cuts to the paint. In this scenario, he is under the defense and thus this is a great time for a down screen. The under series is a great way to use both sides of the floor as any time a mover cuts through the paint, the other side of the floor should be ready to down screen for the mover. This can occur after a back cut. This could occur after a curl as you see on the screen with the Sacramento Kings curling the first away screen and then that same player receives a pin down screen on the opposite side of the floor. Many of the best offenses in the world utilize this strategy to make their offense flow better and to use both sides of the floor. That brings our five out flow offense tutorial to an end. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you thought I missed anything, comment below. And as always, get buckets. And the rest of this video is simply beautiful five out motion basketball for you to enjoy and learn from with a surprise at the end.
If you are interested in advanced concepts out of the 5-out motion offense, click the link right now on the top left of the screen.